Good day everyone, I am Shinimi Ensuma and for today's video, I would like to discuss the topic which is all about the compound microscope, which entitles the module 1 which is the parts and function of a compound microscope. But before that, let me discuss the introduction to microscope. And this is the introduction to microscope. A microscope is a tool that is used to see organisms or objects that are too small to be seen by the naked eye. The microscope makes these small objects look bigger. In compound microscope naman, it is an optical microscope that uses visible light to form an image. It uses glass lenses to magnify and resolve images. So in the first slide, makikita natin na yung microscope ay may kaibahan sa compound microscope dahil ang compound microscope may ginagamit itong light to see the object that is so small to be seen by the naked eye by using the glass lenses to magnify and resolve yung mga images. So let us move on into the history of the compound microscope. There are two scientists which is a Dutch father son team named Hans and Zacharias Janses who invented the first so-called compound microscope in the late 16th century and when they discovered that if they put a lens at the top and bottom of a tube and look through it objects on the other end become magnified so just imagine how amazing these two scientists who discovered the compound microscope in only 16th centuries for us to be able to see the smallest organisms and to be possible that can be seen now by the naked eye. So for able to be seen it by the scientists and from us also, microscope ay yung tinatawag natin microscopy which is also have two types, the magnification and the resolution. In magnification, a microscope's total magnification is a combination of the eyepieces and the objective lens. For example, a biological microscope with 10 times eyepieces and a 40 times objective has 400 times magnification. In this illustration, we can see that the subject being used is a small flower. And in order to see it, we have to zoom it in order for us to see how big this small flower can be if we use this microscope. In resolution, it is used to describe the ability of a microscope to distinguish detail of a specimen or sample. In other words, the minimum distance between two distinct points of a specimen where they can still be seen by the observer or microscope camera as separate entities. For example, is the camera in the phone that we use every day for us to capture an images. It is the same as the microscope, but for us to be seen it clearly or mas malinaw, we have to use the light of a compound microscope to focus the image or the subject that is being used. So that, makikita po natin na ang resolution niya ay mas malino na kumpara doon sa unang image na makita. So these images are the types or kinds of organisms that the scientists Help us to see the smallest kind of organisms with the help of using the microscope. The first is the animal cell, the bacterial cell, and the plant cell. Additionally, even the coronavirus can also be seen by the scientists that are almost spread in the whole world. Because of that, the scientists are able to develop the vaccine para ma-save us to fight against the coronavirus. Though maraming iba't ibang variant ng coronavirus, the scientists or even the doctors are also tandem para lang makagawa 
ng isang vaccine to fight against it. Next, we have the parts and function of a compound microscope. This image shows the parts or the label parts of a compound microscope. We have here the eyepiece or ocular eyepiece, the eyepiece tube, the head, the nose piece, the objective lenses, the stage clips, aperture, stage, condenser, iris diaphragm, illuminator, the coarse focus knob, the fine focus knob, and the base. Number one, we have the eyepiece or ocular lens. It's said that it magnifies the image of the specimen. This part is also known as ocular. Most school microscopes have an eyepiece with 10 times magnification. So, kanina, discuss natin na yung magnification is on how are we able to zoom in para makita or magnify ang isang maliit na organisms or an object. Number two is the eyepiece tube or the body tube. It said that the tube holds the eyepiece. Makikita natin sa images na yung eyepiece or the ocular lens na nasa ibabaw and the eyepiece tube or body tube is connected for us to be able to see or for the eyepiece tube to hold the ocular or the eyepiece. So in number 3 which is the nose piece, as you can see in the image, it holds the objective lenses and is sometimes called a revolving turret. You can choose the objective lens by rotating to the specific lens once you want it to use. As you can see in the arrow, the nose piece, ito yung pwede natin napihitin para magpalit tayo ng iba't ibang uri ng lenses na pwede natin magamit para makita ang isang organisms. Number 4, which is the objective lenses. Most compound microscopes come with the 3 or 4 objective lenses that revolve on the nose piece. The most common objective lenses have power of 4 times, 10 times, and 40 times. Combined with the magnification of the eyepiece, the resulting magnification is 40 times, 100 times, and 100 times magnification. Kanina nakita natin na yung nose piece ang nag-hold for the objective lenses. The objective lenses naman, it said that it helps us to zoom, to zoom in, or to magnify the object or the small organism. Number 5 naman is the arm. The arm connects the base to the nose piece and eyepiece. It is the structural part that is also used to carry the microscope. So for us to be able to hold the microscope, syempre kailangan natin ng na arm. Kasi ito yung mismong nag-hold doon sa may eyepiece, sa ocular lens, sa objective lenses, and the nose piece. Number six naman is the stage. This is where the specimen is placed. This place is for observation. So yung stage naman is yan yung mismo pinaglalagyan ng lens which have the organisms, the tiny organisms or the object that is being used para makita natin how bigger it looks like kapag ka na, nimagnify na siya by using the objective lenses. Number 7 is the stage clips. These are the supports that hold the slides in place on the stage. So, makikita natin na doon sa ibabaw ng stage, meron siyang clip na parang silver. Tapos, doon natin iipit yung lens na nandun mismo yung object na gagamitin natin to see doon sa may mismong eyepiece. Number 8 is the diaphragm. It is sometimes called as the iris or the iris diaphragm. The diaphragm which controls the amount of light passing through the slide. It is located below the stage and is usually controlled by a round dia. So yung diaphragm naman is ito yung nagko-control para makita natin or ma-maintain natin yung light na kailangan natin magamit for us to be see 
the tiny organisms na nilagay natin doon sa may lenses and put it on the stage. Number nine is the illuminator. Most light microscopes use a low voltage bulb which supplies light through the stage and onto the specimen. So yung illuminator naman, no? gumagamit daw to ng low voltage bulbs na magsusupply lang for us to be able to see our object that is being used to be seen in the microscope. Number 10 is the coarse focus. It moves the stage to provide general focus on the specimen. So, makikita natin dito sa image yung coarse focus focus or the coarse focus knob, knob which help us to move the stage in order to provide a focus on the specimen or the onsamilismo object or the tiny organisms na makikita natin doon sa may compound microscope. Number 11 is the fine focus. It moves the stage in smaller increments to provide a clever view of the specimen. So, same as the coarse focus knob, ito namang fine focus knob, it also moves the stage pero in smaller increments lang para mas makita natin yung mismong nandoong specimen or the object or the tiny organisms na we put into the microscope or in the stage of the compound microscope. Last is number 12 which is the base. It is the main support of the microscope. Kung kanina makikita natin kung how important the arm in order to hold the whole microscope, syempre kailangan natin ng base. Kasi ito naman yung mismong magiging suporta ng microscope. Dahil kapag nakatuyo yun, syempre kailangan natin ng base. So, parang same lang siya ng importance ng arm. Dahil kung wala itong parehas, parang walang susuporta doon sa may mismong microscope. And that's the end of our topic, which is the compound microscope that entangles the parts and function of the compound microscope. Thank you. And I hope you learned something from me. God bless everyone.